reference to the like the, the staff alert feature, could you talk a little bit about some of the usage that you've seen? Um, you know, has it been you know mainly medical or some other areas by which you know the alerts have been utilized? Well, we've had two instances where we've had um, uh, people on campus, on the perimeter of the campus, not directly on our campus, but something that has alerted our uh, physical education coaches and teachers where they saw someone. Um, a particular instance was a physical education teacher saw someone actually coming across our campus on foot. Um, she pressed that button three times. I received an alert on my phone along with a lead teacher, a resource teacher. Again, being so close to the high school, we've got it set up to where if I receive an alert or Mr. Brown receives an alert, he's the principal of the high school, we both get those alerts. So our nurses, the SRO, myself, him, we've got about seven people that respond pretty quick like. So we've had that twice. But the latest one that we had, um, we had a third grade student who was outside. I've gone back and watched it on video. And when I tell you it was just a very freak accident, it was just a freak accident. Third grade student playing little boy, playing with a little girl. Um, out on our playground, we have gravel that's up mm -hmm. underneath the swings and slides and things like that. And they were playing and she took her foot and she kicked the gravel. And when she did, um, you can see it in the video. His mouth is open and a rock goes straight down his throat. Now, what we've had in the past was um, we have about four or five people on campus that have a radio. So they press the button and they would say, hey, Miss McBride, I need help on the playground. Well, this particular day, because I have one too, but, you know, women don't always wear pants or shorts. Sometimes we wear dresses. So it's kind of heavy and sometimes you just have to tote it. And she had laid it down that day on the bench, but she had her card around her neck, which we were, you know, we told them this needs to be on you at all times. And she had that card because that radio was laying on the bench. And when she realized the child was choking, she just reached and hit that thing three times. And when I've gone back and watched the video in less than 30 seconds, um, she was already doing the Heimlich maneuver on him, but in less than 30 seconds, we had three additional adults there. Of course, it called someone from the central office. They immediately, within 60 seconds, they were calling my phone. Um, Mr. Brown was actually on his way to a track meet for his high school, but his AP came, his nurse came, our resource officer. We had seven adults around this child in less than 60 seconds. Um, he was in shock. We were able to get a chair. We were able to call his mom, his dad. Um, mom is a traveling nurse in Louisiana. Dad is a truck driver. And so we were trying to get in touch with grandparents, whoever. Um, the rock did come up, thankfully. But again, that's probably right there. We said that um, Centegics, um, the amount that we paid in our district, it earned its keep that day. We ended up, myself along with my counselor, took that child to the emergency room because he still felt like something was lodged in his throat that day. Mm -hmm. And they checked him out and said all was good. Um, but so thankful because within a matter of seconds, we had he was surrounded by adults, including two nurses, our nurse here at the elementary school and one from the high school as well. 